Doop, doop. Doop, doop. Doop, doop. Doop, Hello, and welcome back to the first episode of and today we are going to make a Photoshop tutorial and I'm going to show you how to uh, carve a spoon in Photoshop. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is to clear all the garbage from our workbench. So let's do that. So let's go to the menu bar on the left and select the hand tool, no pun intended, and just drag everything off the table. So we are now uh, ready to start carving our spoon. Uh, but in order to do that, we need uh, a wood first. And so the best source of uh, digital wood that I can find online is on trees.com. So this website is really great for all sorts of trees and tree stuff. <laughs> but uh, we are going to go to the login tab, type in cherry. And uh, I'm going to go for 35 on 20 centimeters. So in order to get the plank out of this, we are going to select the targeting tool and we are just going to mark in where we want the laser to begin. Now we simply press the V button on the keyboard to select the drag tool and just whip out the plank from the log. Press Ctrl T to transform and rotate it 90 degrees. So before all the chiseling can commence, we need to select a vise in order to hold our plank solid. So we are going to go to the tool menu and under vices, we are going to select the bench hook. And what we need to do is just uh, press twice on the space bar so we can drop the things and catch them. Maybe it sounds weird, but you'll see what I mean. So three, two, one. So now before we whip up all the chisels and uh, hammers, we are going to flatten and smooth out our plank. So let's go to our layers tab and right click our wood layer and select flatten image. Now we want to get rid of this shaving. So let's select the area, go to edit and press clear. Okay, now finally we can begin the carving. So let's go to the tool menu once again, select carving and under gouges, we're gonna go for a cut four. Okay, so that might look a little bit intimidating. You have this programming dialog box thing, but don't worry, uh, we're gonna go through it. It's very simple and uh, very straightforward. So let me show you how to do it okay so let's see here a cut times three west wing switch cut times three east wing then we write export execute i'm dyslexic <laughs> and enter uh, whoops uh, hold, hold on a minute east wing enter Okay, that looks uh, kind of nice. <sighs> okay, so now we'd like to create the contour of the spoon. So let's go to tools. We are going to select blacksmith and uh, take out the steak. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the wrong steak. So let's get rid of that. So for the next step, what we're going to do is I'm going to use my uh, fantastic English accent and Google voice recognition to, uh, yeah, to carve the rest of the spoon. So here we go. Um, hey, Google, how cold is it outside? Okay, spoon carving initiated.
Okay, so now that we have the rough shape of the spoon cut out, we need to free it from the vise, as you will. And uh, that's a, not a very simple task. What we need to do is we need to make the vise disappear and catch the spoon in mid-air. I know that sounds also weird, but trust me, that's how the cookie crumbles. So the next trick is called the Jimmy Di Resta uh, uh, ice pick shuffle, if I'm not mistaken. And you need uh, an ice pick from, from Jimmy, this one, this delicious ice pick. And um, what we need to do, <laughs> that's true, yeah? We take the, the ice pick and we need to just drop it and it will catch the wood at the right time. So let's just do it. Oh yeah. So the spoon uh, obviously needs some sexy contours on it. It just so happens that Photoshop has a lovely tool to take care of that. So let's go to the image tab and select the trim button. As you can see, some sort of drum roll has appeared and another dialog box. And we just need to select what kind of grid sandpaper we want. So I'm going to go for 120 and press enter. Now I'd like to have two of those. So control V and uh, press execute. So we are really close to finishing the spoon and uh, <laughs> speaking of finish, sorry, uh, let's go to tools and we are going to go for an edible finish because it's a spoon. So uh, let's go. So there you have it. Uh, that's our spoon. Uh, I'm going to get you a little bit closer so you can get some uh, beauty shots, close-up beauty shots. Uh, yeah, hope you like this one. Okay, so before we end this video, I just want to check one more thing and that is the George tab on the dialog box. Uh, I never checked what this button does. Hello there.